boo hey guys i'm back hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're at cvs and we're here to do some couponing uh deals for the week of october 29th through november 4th and i'm really excited to be back at first when i got up this morning i wasn't too excited and that's not that's because i wasn't sure if i was ready to be back from my break or not yet so if you don't know, I was on a break. I haven't been probably five weeks I took a break and I just needed a mental health break and I needed to step back from couponing because I wasn't enjoying it. <clears throat> and it's not that I didn't like couponing anymore, couponing anymore. It was because a lot of things were going wrong in my eyes and I'm like okay I need to just step back for a little bit regroup restart refresh and then start back up again so as we all know I moved and I moved about an hour away from where I used to live so that's a big adjustment right there and changing stores so I'm not used to the stock that I typically would get or not used to the stock that is typically available to me. So I've got one store that's like 10 minutes away from me and it's a nice new store, it's big, lots of things, but they're kind of lacking on stock for the things that I typically coupon for. So that was frustrating. So then if I wanted to you know, actually do a video, I would have to drive like 30 minutes away, which I'm typically used to, but I'm used to the stock and the stock wasn't really there at either one of the stores. At least it didn't seem like it. Then I wasn't getting any threshold coupons to save any extra money. It was gonna be very expensive. And with the problems at CVS that we had been having, the coupons not coming, the stock, it just felt like it just wasn't fun anymore. And I felt like it was showing in my videos. So I really wanted to just take a mental health break and it really, really helped me. So I did end up starting a second channel just because I was kind of bored. Um, I started a second channel that is completely different than couponing. It's not home organization. It's not anything like that. It is a completely different niche and it's something that I've wanted to do for several, several years, but just didn't do it. So I can talk about that more at the end of the video if you wanna know about that. And yeah, that's it's just something totally different than couponing. And it's not gonna be for everybody and that's totally fine. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna do a few deals. Now I don't have any insert coupons. I have a few printable coupons and of course digital coupons. I don't have any extra bucks. So I thought this would be a great video to do because a lot of people are like, where do I start? And you can start with doing just a couple deals, like what I'm gonna do in there today, or you can do what I do today and put in a little bit more money out of pocket to get yourself going. But I don't have any extra bucks to spend. I did get a coupon in my email, so I actually got two of those, which I'm very surprised about, but I'm only doing um, I'm only doing one because they're on two different accounts and I'm not gonna spend that much money out of pocket to restart. I do have a care pass and I do know that some of the printable coupons aren't scanning. So we're just gonna try some out. I do have one that is gonna scan that I do know that will scan. And then another one I haven't really seen anyone do. So we'll see if that scans. And if it doesn't scan, it's only a dollar that isn't, uh, it's only a dollar more out of my own pocket. And it's not the end of the world if it doesn't scan. So I think that is it, guys. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am Sarah and I like to show you how to save money any way that I can. And if you're not new, welcome back. I love you guys. So anyways, guys, let's go inside and see what we can do. So the first deal that we are going to be doing is the Burt's Bees. Now the Burt's Bees are buy two, get back a $5 extra buck, and it does include the masks. So I'm gonna grab two of the face masks and two of these little eye thingies, and that is going to equal out to $12.76. 
Now, if you look on the sign here, the sign does say down below here, limit two per household per week. So we're going to do the deal twice. So the total will be $12.76 for all four of them. You will get back $10 in extra bucks, making it $2.76 for all four products. And this is a perfect newbie friendly deal to get some extra bucks back. So now we're going to do a seven off of 70 transaction. And we're going to start off with these multi vitamins, but they have to be the multi plus energy vitamins. So these are marked at $15.79 and they're buy one get one 50 percent off so one will be 15.79 the other one will be 7.90 so the two will equal out to 23.69 we have a 10 off two digital coupon so then that will make them 13.69 but then we're going to submit our receipt to swag bucks and we're going to get back ten dollars for getting two of them so that's going to make both of these massive bottles of vitamins which is a multivitamin plus a b12 um, is going to be $3.69 and it's for like six months worth of vitamins. So I think under $4 for six months worth of vitamins is a very good deal. So I had to run to the restroom and I noticed that the eye things that I grabbed weren't included. So I put them back and grabbed two more masks. So that way I would get the $10 in extra bucks. Now we're going to do the spend 20, get back a $5 extra buck. And the six count of Charmin for $8.99 is included. I am completely out of paper. So then next I'm going to grab the Dawn Power Wash price at $5.99. And then I'm going to grab two Febreze products priced at $3.94. Just get the regular scents. Don't get the more fancy scents. So I'm just going to grab two of the small spaces. The total for the four products equals out to $22.86. I have a $2 digital off for the Dawn, a $3.30 off two digital for the Febreze, and then I have a $3 printable from the pggoodeveryday.com website. And then that is going to make my total down to $14.56. I'll get back a $5 extra buck, making my total for the four products just $9.56. We're also gonna throw in some toothpaste the toothpaste is priced at $5.29 at my store. My store isn't marked, but they're spend 10, get back a $5 extra buck. The two will equal out to $5.90, or I'm sorry, $10.58. We have a four off two digital coupon that'll make them $6.58. We'll get back a $5 extra buck, making them both $1.58. So the total for everything here in my cart equals out to $69.49. We're gonna use that seven off of 70 coupon I got in my email. We're also going to use a care pass. I paid for a yearly care pass. So I pay $4 essentially every month and get a free $6 back. Plus all of the other coupons that I showed you when I was doing each deal, that's going to make my total $30.19. But then I'll get back a $10 extra buck for the Burt's Bees. I'll get back a $5 extra buck for the Colgate and another $5 extra buck for the Spend 20 get back five dollars then I'll also get back ten dollars from swag bucks that's gonna make everything in this cart just four dollars and nineteen cents and that's like buying one of the Dawn power washes and getting everything else for free and even though CBS couponing has changed dramatically I still think that is a really really good deal for this day and age so I'm going to do something in a separate transaction, and that's the Lysol. They're buy one, get one 50% off. Buy two, get back a $2 extra buck. So I'm going to grab this small containers of wipes priced at $5.99. So one is going to be $5.99. The other one will be $2.99. That'll equal out to $8.98. I have this dollar off printable coupon. It's a dollar off two from coupons.com that I printed yesterday. Then I have a dollar off to digital coupon that should glitch with that. That'll make my total $5.98. I'm sorry, $6.98. Then I'm going to submit my receipt to Ibotta. On my one Ibotta account, I have two different rebates, one for $0.75 cents and one for $1.50. If they both attach, then I'm going to get back $2.25 per container. So $4.50 back from Ibotta. And after the extra bucks that I get back, the total for both containers are going to be 48 cents, which is an insane price. So I'm definitely grabbing these. So there's one more deal I'll show you, but I'm not really going to talk about it. It's 
down the halls and it is in the Google Doc down below in the description box. But if you guys ever come across a deal on these Mucinex drops, please tell me because these are amazing. All right, let's go out to the car and look at the receipts. All right, guys, so we are back in from CVS and there was some issues and it's okay. It could be a multitude of things, but we're good. We're going to just keep on trucking along because it's not like I stopped couponing because there were issues. Um, this, what happened is just sometimes they happen and those are the issues that I am very much used to. Um, it is the other things that I was saying in the beginning of the video that were really making it not fun for me. Coupons not coming off here and there. That's just the, the name of the game. That is going to happen, but um, that part doesn't bother me none, especially if the stores make it right. And the store did make it right. So what we'll do is we'll just go over my second transaction first because of course, we're just not gonna go in order. So on my second transaction, I just got the Lysol wipes and I wanted to separate this because I did want to use some extra bucks to help lower my out of pocket for uh, the Lysol wipes. Now, like I said, this store is a very nice big new store, but they do not carry Joa Cosmetics. They don't carry, they don't carry a lot of things that the stores that are closer to the cities carry. So like I said, I am, where I lived before, I could drive 30 minutes south and I would be in stores that were very close to a very major city. I moved north, so I moved almost an hour north. So I just got to deal with what the stores have. And they didn't have Joa or anything like that. So I just did the Lysol by itself. So the printable coupon, it did scan, so that is fine. I didn't try any of the other coupons that were beeping for other people, mainly P&G coupons, but the printable that I used for the Lysol, that did not beep. So the digital coupon came off for the Lysol. My total for the Lysol was $6.98. I got back $2 in extra bucks. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have two Ibotta accounts, one on my phone, one on my iPad. So on my iPad, only it shows that I have two Ibotta rebates for the Lysol. That is the exact same rebate, one for $1.50, one for 75 cents. I am assuming that they are going to both attach and I'll get back $2.25 on each package of the Lysol wipes. So I will show, or I will give you the price of what that's going to be um, with and then without the um, I bought a rebates and then I will just update you right here on the screen what worked and what didn't work. My iPad is not with me. It's a big, huge iPad Pro. I'm not lugging that thing around with me and there's only internet on it. So after the $4.50, the total for both of the Lysol wipes is going to be 48 cents for both of them. If only the $1.50 rebate comes off, then it will be $1.98 for both of them, which still isn't bad at all, considering they're $5.99 a piece at this store, and they're not that much cheaper at Walmart. So I really wanted to pick those up with it being fall and going into winter and all that jazz. So then on the next transaction, I did my seven off of 70. So a couple of things here. So the shelf tag for the Vitafusion said 15.79, they rang up 16.99. They did not ring up 15.79. And then the one mask that I grabbed ended up being $4.69, which the eye masks weren't included. I kind of wanted to try those. My hopes were dashed, so I just grabbed another mask and it ended up being a lot more. And I only grabbed that mask because I noticed that when I was in the bathroom, I noticed that was one of them that was included. So I just grabbed that one and I didn't want to keep standing there trying to figure out masks. I just grabbed it. But the one thing that did happen here that the store did make right was the $10 digital for the Vitafusion did not come off. That is a big bite and that is not fun when that happens. So they just refunded me $10 and then like tax or whatever. So I took the $10 off of this. I didn't want an extra buck because I didn't want to pay the extra $10 out of pocket. You know what I mean? So they gave me $10 in tax back and a refund and I was 
more than happy with that. You just gotta speak up and ask, you know, hey, I have this digital coupon. It's showing these are attaching, but it didn't come off. Is there anything that you can do? And she's like, well, I can give you an extra buck or I could refund you. And I'm like, I would rather it be refunded back to me. I would rather have $10 back in my pocket. <clears throat> so anyways, for this transaction, I got the Spend 20, Get 5, the Vita Fusion, the Burt's Bees Masks, and the Colgate. I only used one printable coupon for the Charmin, and that scanned fine. Then I had a $2 digital for the Dawn Power Wash, a $4 digital for the Colgate, the $3.30 digital for the Febreze, uh, no $10 for the Vita Fusion, the 7 off of 70 for my email, and my Care Pass. So my total for that transaction should have been $33.88. It would have been a lot cheaper if I was paying attention to the mask, but we're not going to split hairs. That happens. I ended up getting $20 back in extra bucks, five for the Colgate, five for the Spend 20, Get 5, and 10 for the Burt's Bees masks. That is, by the way, a perfect one to do if you are brand new perfect newbie friendly deal. Then I submitted my receipt to Swag Bucks and I got back $10. Now, when I submit my receipt to Swag Bucks, it always says this. It says the deal was found, but zero Swag Bucks. I don't know why it does that. I go over to my activity and the $10 is there. So here it is to show you. Yes, I did get the $10 back for those. So then that makes my transaction just $3.88, which I think is pretty darn good. Now, like I said, I did have to put out $33 of my own money, but I knew that that was gonna be the case because I didn't have extra bucks and I was doing a transaction that is like a $70 threshold. So I usually can get it down to half, and then I like to get the remaining portion back in extra bucks and rebates. So I was able to do that. So my total for both of my transactions was $4.36, which I think is pretty darn good. It's pretty darn good. And I'm getting back, um, hopefully the $4.50 on Ibotta, but I'm also getting, or got back that $10 on swag bucks, which is, half the money that I put out, I'm getting back. So I'm very happy with that. So anyways, guys, that is, oh, my channel, the other channel. So, so my other channel, don't judge, don't judge. I need my safety drink here. If no one from this channel, and I'm not promoting it, to get more subscribers from my subscriber base that I already have. I'm simply telling you guys to share with you what else I'm doing. And if you are interested in that type of thing, then go right ahead and subscribe, watch it, do all those beautiful things for YouTubers that you enjoy. Um, but it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea. It really, really isn't. So I am really, really into true crime and mysteries and things like that. I went to school for criminal justice. I actually have a degree in criminal justice. So this is something that I very much have been passionate about for many, 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 many years. I'm 42 years old. I've been interested in it since high school. Um, and then I love to watch mysteries even before that. So I started a new channel called The Eerie Collective and it's going to have true crimes and mysteries and things like that. And I'm going to do it as tastefully as I can. I already have th uh, three videos up now, um, but they are true crime and they are sometimes graphic cases. So I just want you guys to be aware of that, that, and I know it's not gonna be for everybody, but it's something that I have been very, very passionate about for a long time. And so, yeah, I'm really, really excited to do that and to do this because I love, so I probably won't be mentioning the channel too often, but that is just another thing that I have been up to. And I do, of course, wanna share that with you. If you don't subscribe to it, 
it's totally fine. If you don't watch it, it's totally fine because it's not going to be for everybody. Some people might not have any interest in that, and that's okay. That really is okay. So that is all I have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you all in the next video. And if you do want to check out that channel, it is linked down below. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I already said it. I'll say it again. Have a great day, guys. Bye.